Well, they do a great job of celebrating their football history here in Lubbock. Great football facility, Cliff Kingsbury, all-time leading passer, now the head coach in Lubbock. Celebrated inside that facility. Our veteran head coach, 74 years old, Bill Snyder, who was looking for career win number 175. All those wins, 174 of them, have come in Manhattan. There is number seven, Davis Webb, true freshman from Prosper, Texas. You see on the jerseys, everybody wearing that never quit. It's Veterans Day weekend, lone survivor. Our Chick fil A impact players. David, it starts on the offensive end with the big tight end for Texas Tech. Absolutely. Jason Morrow's the guy that gets it dumped on the. He's a player. Playmaker on offense. He's a big size speed matchup problem. He'll be up to Ryan Muller and Ty Zimmerman. The junior, junior college transfer from Council Bluffs, Iowa. And his play has gotten a lot better as the season has gone on. I think both guys are getting comfortable in terms of coming in and coming off the field. That can be difficult to manage at some point. When Kansas State has the ball, Daniel Sam's a little different. We're highlighting somebody, David, who doesn't start the game. But he will play, and he uh, the offense moves at a different speed when he's in the game. He's a big play guy. He is playing in this game, but he's not nearly 100% and for Matt Wallerstad, a real challenge. Yeah, that is a theme for Texas Tech's defense. So many key injuries. Yeah, and injuries at all three levels of the defense. And these are impact veteran players uh, that they're really missing right now. And that's why the last few weeks have been tough sledding for this Red Raider defense. But I think the real story this year is not only Bryce Petty, but their defense. They totally shut down and dominated Oklahoma. Oklahoma tried to spread out and play that high-paced game with them. Baylor's too good at that. Extension of the run game as well. The quick hitches outside. They're going to try to take advantage of the soft coverage by K-State. Just tech with the ball first in this game. Webb, out into the left flat, caught, and a quick tackle, but enough for the first down. Three rushes, that's balanced offense. Now, a little bit of a trick play. The flip into the open. And down to the 10, Eric Ward finally tackled. It'll be first and goal, Texas Tech. Webb. Looking for the end zone, and incomplete. Daly again with good coverage. It'll be fourth down. And this is basically an extra point type kick. Right down the middle and good. The Red Raiders have the first three points of the game. So impressive start for Texas Tech. Water. So Kansas State, I think, feeling pretty confident coming into this one. Their excellent return man, Tyler Lockett, watches the ball go out of bounds. And that will bring us a penalty flag and give Kansas State good field position to start. The outside It's not. A team that only moves the ball on the ground. Not by any means. They give it to Hubert again, and he's got a big hole to midfield. Left sideline to the 20, to the end zone. Touchdown. John Hubert with the long run, 63 yards. So he is looking at that. And I ask him from 0 to 100%, where do you think you are in any possible decision? He didn't go for that, day. No, no position. Not willing to give you a percentage. Well, understandable. But uh, Jace himself, he was a guy who said it this morning, so sort of planting the seed that this could be it for him at Jones Stadium. Third and eight. At the Red Raiders 40. Webb throws, and it's incomplete. There is a penalty flag down, away from the pass, away from the ball. So we'll see. Might keep the Red Raiders with possession. Personal foul. Hands to the face on a defense, number 94. 15-yard penalty. First down. So that's a big one against Bill Snyder's team, and he's not happy about that. Kansas State prides themselves very few penalties. You'll see the left side of the screen. Hands will go to the face there. Doing the job. Look at the mesh up front, getting to the second level, and there's Foster running north and south. The play fake and a quick hitter for nothing. No gain, quick tackle. And the man who made the tackle, Ty Zimmerman, one of the most important players, one of the leaders of this Kansas State defense, he is down and hurting. Texas Tech will hand the ball off and. Trying to bounce it outside the tailback. Williams gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. So the extra effort, I think, in the field where it makes sense to go for it. On fourth and one, they hand the ball off again. And Williams, with that extra effort, powers his way forward for the first down. It's times on this drive alone. Webb. Complete. Amaro breaks another tackle inside the 10, down to the 5. Man, is he powerful. Adjustment, and maybe Webb saw Amaro isolated there. He did. He's throwing the fade. Amaro with contact, and he can't make the catch. The defender was all over him. He still got some separation. He did not look comfortable. Thanks, Lewis. Third and goal. Red Raiders trying to get in the end zone, and they do. Caught touchdown. 
Eric Ward. Waters back in. And off Hubert, big hole. Hubert a cut back inside the 30. The offensive line get a hat on a hat. There's the hole. Look, they've got a seal here. They get to the second level there. And Hubert's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Waters looking to pass. Flags thrown toward the end zone for Lockett. Some contact there. No flag. Yeah. Another flag on the back end of the play. There were flags initially. And referee Scott Novak trying to sort this out. There are two fouls on the play, both against the defense. Offside defense, high penalties decline. Pass interference, defense number 29, 15-yard penalty. First down. You'll see the pass interference here. The ball is in the air, and he makes complete contact with the wide receiver as the ball is approaching him. Got to call that. They do. Hubert up the middle. Hubert for the goal line and stops short. Just barely. Kansas State, they thought he was in. Exact direct look on the goal line. They're not reviewing it. This time they power the ball forward, and it is a touchdown. So K-State, they needed an extra play, but they get into the end zone. Waters. For Cliff Kingsbury again. He goes, look, we're, we're not that good up front. We've had some issues. We haven't been effective around the ball. So we throw it. Trolling the time of possession and getting some rhythm. And officially, that one pass attempt was wiped out with the penalty. So Kansas State officially has not thrown the ball. Mueller gets the sack. Good pursuit from the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week. The sacks leader in the conference, Ryan Mueller. No, he is hurting. We could tell when he came out of the game. But back in for this third and long. Webb with time, throws, and it is almost intercepted by Zimmerman. And you do wonder if he's fully healthy. Maybe he just picks that one off. Not a great pass from Davis Webb. Fourth down coming up. A dangerous pass by Webb. Look at Zimmerman go up and try to high point the football. And I think the arm of Marquez got in there and disrupted that interception just a little bit. ESPN College Football presented by K Jewelers. 14-10 start of the second quarter. Looking middle, now he's going to run. And he'll get the first down and more into Texas Tech territory. A quick decision and a good decision. Particularly for Auburn in the SEC. This is a big game in the Big 12 Conference for these two teams. Hubert, stutter step move. First down and more down to the 25-yard line. And John Hubert is having a huge first half. They had a quick look at Matt Wallerstep, the defensive coordinator. He's got to be concerned with the way this game is going. Hubert. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And there is a flag on the play toward the secondary. Personal foul. Legal block below the waist on the offense, number 88. 15-yard penalty. Second down. Now that's a huge penalty against the Wildcats. Right when you're getting into the red zone. And we'll see if we can see the... There it is. And a receiver going from the out. Plenty of time on the play clock. In the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball. Finally throws, and it's caught inside the 20. Not a first down, but fairly close. Tyler Lockett with the catch. Play clock is winding down, and it's Daniel Sams in the backfield. They get the snap off. Sams, right side running. Flags thrown. Sams will not go down. And he gets the first down at the play stands. Very powerful run from Daniel Sams. He was going to be stopped well short. Personal foul. Hands to the face on the defense, number 91. Half the distance of the goal. First down. Sams again. Keeps it on the ground. Sams to the goal line. Touchdown. They never got him to the ground. <laughs> Looking middle. Throws and it's too high incomplete. Trying for Marquez. It's fourth down. Set up near the 25 yard line. Thompson can return this one. Comes middle. Thompson gets hit hard from behind and dropped. I'm not sure why Thompson stops. See if that pays any dividends here. The Wildcats have moved the ball and will. There's one of those run forward, almost jump pass style plays from Daniel State in Kansas State. He's doing that again here this afternoon. Sams hits the hole hard to midfield to cut back inside the 45. The talent of Daniel Sams when he keeps it on the ground. Waters throws left, caught by Lockett, and he turned it upfield to get the first down. 
inside the 20, a gain of 11 or so. Uh, really interesting. It's been a tumultuous few years for Red Raiders football, to say the least. Nice fake, and Waters, the defense opens wide up, up the middle, and Waters into the end zone. Touchdown. 13 yards for Jake Waters in the return game. Waiting for the kickoff from Ian Patterson. Grant will let it bounce. I don't know if he can see the ball. Takes it on the goal line. And he's going to get tripped up just outside the 10. So that did not look right. Mayfield in the game for the first time. Well, I'll tell you what, another true freshman that had an outstanding start to the season. And Chris Kingsbury said this is not part of his plan. This is a result of probably what he felt. Look, we're not getting anything done. we got to make something happen. Mayfield tripped up as he tried to get away, and that officially will be a sack. Travis Britt. It's been a few weeks since Baker Mayfield really played. Now he's going to take off and run to the 20, to the 25, and the ball comes loose at the end of the play. We'll see if they rule that as a fumble, and it is a fumble. K-State has the ball. in here is because he's a little better app in terms of Ruling running the ball. On the field is that the ball was out before the runner's knee was down. And we Kansas see that. State. First down. Excellent look at it. Blake Slaughter with the strip, and the ball definitely came out. And ball security has been an issue. For Sam straight ahead running, and right there, but I think he gets it. Gets it by a yard or so. Yeah. End this first half with the ball in the end zone. Waters juggled the snap. Busted play. He'll throw toward the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Tremaine Thompson. There is a flag on the play, and I think it's going to be offsides. I think that play is going to stand. Defense number 30. Penalties declined. Touchdown. What a play. Improvisation from Waters and Tremaine Thompson 20 yards into the end zone. And you'll see Tremaine Thompson again. He's going to open up. Watch him just wheel away. Third down and four. Mayfield in the pocket. Got the pass complete for the first down. Marquez with the catch across the 35 to the 30 ability could be the, the final time that he plays here at home. Mayfield pass complete across midfield. A nice gain, a first down. The clock will stop 33 seconds to the job that he's done in Waco. Mayfield going to run with it. Flags thrown. Mayfield first down gets upended inside the 35, but that may be a hold against Tech. Offense number 71, 10 yard penalty. So not only negate that run, the time still counts off the clock, so you lose eight seconds or so. College football. Virtually unstoppable <laughs> in how they do in the vertical passing game and really stretching the field. Mayfield into double coverage and the pass is incomplete. Texas Tech fans wanted a penalty flag intended for Marquez. He wants the flag as well. Roberts was there and Bennett the safety. We'll see. Looks like there's a little tug of the jersey. I don't know. That one could have gone either way. You mentioned that Baylor offense. The team that did, has done the best job this year against that offense is K-State. Now a little hook and ladder type play, but Kansas State was ready for it. Mayfield. Gets hit and the pass is incomplete and he took a huge hit there. Still one second on the clock. Alongside Bill Snyder, here's Lewis Johnson. All right, thanks very much. Coach, you didn't throw any passes the first quarter, only six in the first half. Why has your running game been so effective? Well, I'd like to think that our offensive line are doing a nice job blocking and our ball carriers are doing a nice job running the ball. I hope that's the case. Any adjustments for the second half? I don't know yet. We've got to get inside and talk about it. All right, Coach, thank you. Dave? Okay, Lewis, K-State 35, Texas Tech 10. When we come back, the studio will catch you up on all the day's action on the Capital One Halftime Report after these messages. And you'll see uh, neither one of them able to really get things done. You know, Davis Webb sort of done their thing today. Yeah, it's interesting, too, and I think they're finding their stride offensively in terms of how and when each guy is going to play and what situations best suit them as well. And, and so far, it has worked. And when to, to play one guy, when to play the other. Waters running forward as the pass tipped up and knocked down. Big part of their play action game where they actually commit to the run game with the quarterback and then try to hit a pop pass right up one of the seams. Great awareness by the Tech defense, get the hands up. And they just didn't get much tempo going. 
And off Williams straight up the middle. Williams into Wildcats territory. Tackled at the 40. They almost elbow shoulder. Yeah. Pass out into the right flat. Caught and the move for the first down. Play receiver from the tight end position. Third and eight. Mayfield hits Amaro. And Amaro tackled right around the 20. I think he's got enough. Third and three. Mayfield. Caught, first down, and more. Inside the five, down to the four. On to the quarterback in that empty formation. On third down, Mayfield's been at his best. Six for six. On, and he's making plays. Mayfield, fake handoff, carries it himself. Touchdown. Creative with their quarterback run game. You're going to see some split flow. A kick out block by the first running back, a fake to the second. They'll close down here, and the quarterback will find the alley, Mayfield, for the touchdown. So Baker Mayfield, who did not start the game, but after the offense had stalled, came in. And that's why he's in. Going on the way here. Ryan Buston, and the kick was deflected. It was blocked. It's no good. Their second time with the ball in this second half. Waters looking to throw. He's got a man wide open for the first down. Tackled in the open field at about the 39. Tyler Lockett with another catch. Third and three. Waters pressured and brought down. Well, these games are hard on the officials. Turf monster will get you. Mayfield caught at a big hit right away. Jordan Davis. Second and ten, Red Raiders. And a flag for I think it was offsides. The tackle right away by Shaquille Reed, but I think that's going to be negated. Offside. Defense, 53. Five guard penalty. Second out. Mayfield out of the left side. Caught. Turning it upfield. Nice move across the 40, nearly out to the 45. Mayfield with time. Now pressured. Scrambling. Mayfield gets away. To midfield and not going into a slide. Baker Mayfield trying to pump up this Texas Tech team. It feeds the rest of the team. Fake handoff. Swings it out left side. Caught. Little stutter step move and getting away out into the open to the 30 and finally pushed out of bounds. That's Jakeem Grant. Tell you what, missed tackles After hurt you every time. After the run went out of bounds, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on the defense. Half the distance to the goal, first down. So on top of the play, the big penalty against the Wildcats. We'll take a look. Stop on a short field. You're down 19 late in the third quarter. Mayfield, and that's a, I think, a false start. So that's a big mistake. False start on the offense. Number 62. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. And that penalty changes the decision. Ninth penalty against the Red Raiders. LaRaven Clark with that right hash. 31 yard attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. So at least Texas Tech gets points. The penalty. Stopped a fourth down conversion attempt in the country. The Red Raiders still down. And an onside kick attempt. The ball's loose on the ground. And who has it? It was a pretty good onside kick effort. K State tried to pounce on that ball. It was sitting there on the turf for a couple seconds. And I think the Wildcats did come away with the ball. Boy, Tech had an opportunity to recover that. The little squib kick off to the side. Yeah, I mean, it was there, and Weston Hybert hustled to pounce on that ball. It's the second first down for the Wildcats in this third quarter. Final two minutes of the quarter, Sam's back to pass, going deep middle. Lockett is there, and it's incomplete. The throw was a little too strong. He was open, but the touchdown missed. Lockett had a step on him. He gets there. Look, he's going to give him a shake outside, head down the middle. He's open. Boy, the ball's just overthrown a little bit. With no free, free safety in the middle. I don't think he got anything from the sideline. He's going to keep it. Catch back left side to the 20. Sam's a little high stepping inside the 10 and pushed out of bounds inside the 5. 
Start of the fourth quarter in Lubbock, 35-19, K-State leading Texas Tech. Let's check in on the sideline with Lewis Johnson. The game day that he was good for this game today, but still struggling right now. Jacarthy Mack came off this game, came out of the game hurt. Kenny Williams as well. So they are really, really struggling with injuries on the Texas Tech sideline. And meanwhile, I don't know what took the officials so long. Daniel Sams was about three yards in the end zone, lying on the ground. Game summary, and again on the ground. That has been the big story: the yards and the touchdowns for the Wild. Cats. Yeah, and a combination of their traditional run game with Hubert and then their quarterbacks getting involved with that as well. Great big plays and conflict for the defense. And then for Texas Tech, Mayfield's come in, done a nice job, giving them a little spark, but maybe too little, too late for Texas Tech. Ten catches now for Eric Ward. First and ten, Mayfield. Pressured. And Mueller sticks with it and brings him down. Another sack for Ryan Mueller. Of six, the sack leader in the Big 12. Gets another one. Third overall sack for the Wildcats. The throw is intercepted. Intercepted by Ty Zimmerman. To the 10, to the end zone. Touchdown. The senior leader is playing through all kinds of pain in this game. Comes up and found a way miraculously to survive at home, but a lot of turmoil around that program. Mayfield is going to be tackled. The ball is stripped away. Mueller knocked it away. I think the Red Raiders recover. Well, one official saying third down. K State comes away from the pile with the ball. The ruling on the field is the ball was fumbled, but it was recovered by the offensive player before the defensive player took it away. Third down, Texas Tech. So the head referee, Scott Novak, was looking at it very closely, and he said, Recovery, Red Raiders. You see Ryan Mueller, too, just turning the corner. That ball is loose. And that's his third sack today. And it's, it's been impressive. I mean, even that game against Baylor, but especially the last three weeks, West Virginia, they could put points on the board. Only 12. Iowa State, they were a couple minutes away from a shutout in that one. A handoff for a first down here. Inside Wildcats. Second and seven for the Red Raiders. Mayfield throws short middle and a first down and more on his feet. It's Eric Ward to the outside. Excellent effort for Eric Ward for the big game. For 49-19. Pass caught in the right flat and now the Red Raiders are without their All-American candidate. That was Marquez with the catch. And you'll see Mayfield look. He knew where he's going with the football. He saw the coverage he wanted. And again, a well-placed ball away from the defender. Hand off up the middle and end zone touchdown. So Dale Foster with the touchdown run. So we'll see. They had a pretty good chance at a recovery last time they tried it. This time, not as good of a chance. And Kansas State very routinely with Ty Zimmerman, who is such a tough kid, told he wasn't going to play anymore. Before he left the stadium, his head coach, Cliff Kingsbury, I think telling him that he was done for the day. And tomorrow, as you're talking about Jason Marlin, it could be his final home game. Certainly not the way that he wanted his home Red Raiders career to come to an end. And off Hubert, and they have to take some of that yardage off the uh, board. Drop for a loss. Kansas State under Bill Snyder. Special teams play has always stood out. Been a hallmark of the program. Davis lets this one bounce, and it kicks inside the five and saved in play. It's going to be downed at about the one-yard line. Go. During that timeout from the locker room, maybe with some new gear on, Jay Samaro looking for his helmet. And we had thought his head coach had told him he had to come out of the game. He spiked some equipment down, looked frustrated, went back to the locker room. Well, guess what? He's back in there. And they're going to get him the ball for a gain of a few yards. Now you see what's on the back of these jerseys today. Didn't see a lot of that in the first half of play. They were trying to get him vertical down the field. And K-State did a nice job. Their safety's kind of bracketing and high low on him. Shallow crossing is a little harder to do. Yeah, he's hurt. He made that catch there, and you could tell right away that it wasn't it's right. Value for him at a position that's really in vogue now in the National Football League. It is. So many teams using that weapon, and the ball comes out after the catch is stripped. But it, I think popped right back into the receiver's arm. Tight ends, putting up big numbers. You just look at the guys that came out this last year from... Rosario from San Diego State, UCLA's big tight end. 
uh, that came out. He didn't have the free agents being real productive. I mean, there's there's guys all over. He's got that size speed combo that can work at the next level, but obviously banged up here today. That's defense. Well, the and tight end back out there. Yeah, yeah, he, he wants more. You know, that's there's a reason why they're looking for guys like him right now in the National Football League. Final minute of this one. Mayfield under pressure, heaves it downfield, and the pass is intercepted. Randall Davis has had a heck of a game. Cliff Kingsbury thinks so, the head coach for Texas Tech. Bill Snyder, career win number 175. An impressive milestone. The 11th coach ever to get that number at one school. K State 49, Texas Tech 26. That's our final score from Lubbock for David Diaz and Fonte and Lewis Johnson. Dave Fleming saying so long from Lubbock. Now we'll head back to the studio.